Hi, it's Miss Alana here, and today is Monday, March 14th, is Pi Day, and we are working on today's math practice. This one is video number two for question number two, okay? So let's look right here at the domain. That means what section of math we're doing, and operations in algebraic thinking, just like number one, and the standard for this one is different. So this is a different kind of math problem. It's MGSE2.OA.3, and let's read that together. It says, determine whether a group of objects up to 20 has an odd or even number of members. E.g., that means example given, by pairing objects or counting them by twos, write an equation to express an even number as a sum of two equal atoms. What does that mean, Miss Alana? Now, I know you know some of the words in here, but it does sound kind of confusing. So I broke it down for you right here. If you can do this problem, you can say these statements. I can tell whether a group of objects is odd or even. You know that, right? I can write an equation which shows adding the same two numbers will result in an even number. You know how to do that. You might think you don't, but you actually do. So let's get started on the problem and you'll see how easy it is, okay? So let me scoot this over here and let's read number two together. It says prove, uh, you have to prove that 10 is an even number using different ways, okay? So we know that 10 is an even number, but now you have to prove it, okay? So, oh, we have a visitor at the door. I'm going to go open that. Let me pause it. No, I said I'm going to open the door, so no, Cheyenne, you don't need to pause it. You're live on camera. All right, so we are working on number two. All right, so first I'm going to draw objects. How many objects do I need to draw? Ten objects. Um, you can pick any picture you want to, but I'm going to just draw some circles. You can draw squares. You can draw triangles. You can draw hearts. Okay, I'm just going to draw circles. I need ten circles. So count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, just drawing ten objects does not make it even. It does not prove that it's even. We have to do something. We have to partner them up, put them in pairs. I'm going to switch my color out. I'm going to do it by partners. Oh, no, that didn't change my color. Partner, you're my partner, you're my partner, you're my partner, and you're my partner. Look, everyone has a partner, so that makes it what kind of number? An even number, okay? Now, the next strategy, the next way we prove that 10 is even is counting by twos. I know you know how to count by twos. Count by twos with me and write it down. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. Bam, 10 is right there, so that means that number is an even number. All right, guess what? There's a third way to prove if these numbers are even. Write an addition equation of equal add-ins. What? What does that mean, Milana? That means we need to write an addition sentence, and the add-ins, that means the numbers you add, have to be what? Equal. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to put a blank right here plus a blank right here equals 10. So what number can I put in the blank to equal 10? And these have to be equal, okay? That means it has to be the same number. For example, 3 plus 3, 100 plus 100, 45 plus 45. What numbers can we add to make 10? You know, it's so easy. 5 plus what? 5 plus 5. Now, I know 6 plus 4 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10, but remember, they have to be equal, okay? So, on the right side, where it says explain how you solve the problem, write sentences to write what we just did. We just did it right here. So, all you have to do is write sentences to tell me what you did to solve that problem. Got it? That's number two. 